what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here yes jeepers creepers tour is coming out sometime later this year it was announced today courtesy of variety i didn't know this was happening honestly i know i made a bunch of videos talking about it made some videos speculating on it being released this year too in time for an anniversary maybe for the first film since this would be the 20th anniversary variety broke the news earlier today we have a new director new person pinning the script timo vero vero rinsola is the director uh, not really familiar with this guy's films and i hope he adapts well to this but variety said the latest installment in the series is from director timo viro and swola who previously oversaw the iron sky films as part of a planned new trilogy the film is written by sean michael argo and produced by jake seal of oro studios and black hanger studios and michael ahoven of infinity films right off the bat i've looked up information about this guy he seems to be more in line with uh, science fiction films, so not really too far out of his realm, but hopefully he adapts well because this would be his first outing. His, this is his fifth feature film, according to him, but his first outing in the horror genre. So hopefully he did an amazing job here and I hope this works out well for him. And we did get an official synopsis attached to it. It doesn't seem like anything has to do with the old film, but it says the film unfolds as the Horror Hound Festival holds its first ever event in Louisiana, where it attracts hundreds of geeks, freaks, and diehard horror fans from far and wide. Among them is fanboy Chase and his girlfriend Lane, who is forced to come along for the ride. But as the event approaches, Lane begins to experience unexplained premonitions and disturbing visions associated with the town's past, and in particular, local legend Urban Myth the Creeper. As the festival arrives and the blood soaked into entertainment turns to a frenzy, Lane believes that something unearthly has been summoned and that she is at the center of it. Now, already sounds like a Jeepers Creepers film with those premonitions. Now, the new director did also go on Twitter to confirm that Victor Salva will not be benefiting from this in any capacity or not be attached to it at all. Victor Salva is in no way associated with this production and not benefiting from it in any way. The Creeper and the script are completely new creations. So a lot of people, that wasn't enough for them. They're still digging. They want receipts that he's actually not the rights holder anymore. So I can say this. Actually, I'll say this because up what's coming up next is some behind the scene images I found. I found these from the director. He has a website where he journal. He's basically journaling his filmmaking career, and he shared these behind the scenes images of them apparently working on what I assume is Jeepers Creepers Four, titled Jeepers Creepers Reborn. That's the official title. I hate that title. Just throwing it out there. And yeah, it looks like a lot of green screen work is going on. Uh, it looks like they they apparently shot partially in the uk and partially in louisiana uh most of the time they were at that a lot of it was done in a studio that that hangar studio that i brought up back in when the video initially started and it looks like they had fun honestly it looks like this is what's going down they're shooting jeepers creepers 4 if i'll leave a link to this journal that he creates or that he keeps for his filmmaking so you guys can see what he's all about because he's been prepping this for over a year according to him but they all shared their excitement for it they can't wait to revamp this franchise and make it fresh make it more in line with what's going on today in the horror community whatever that means here we have an image of what could possibly possibly be uh our two lead protagonists that was mentioned in that synopsis the girlfriend and the boyfriend so it seems they're trying to go back in tow with what we saw the simplicity of that first film so hopefully we get a good movie out of this from that now a lot of people are already speculating where's gina phillips where's jonathan breck where is all of these other things that we've come to know and love i did reach out to some people uh certain individuals one of the individuals who are the owner of one of the creeper trucks they are not involved at least their truck isn't involved they had no idea about this and what i was going to say about victor salva victor salva because again i have contact with uh what is his name i just went brain dead <laughs> stacy langenkamp the nephew of heather langenkamp he was originally supposed to be in the once titled jeepers creepers cathedral he was going to play trisha's son Derry. he's been in contact with victor salva ever since then victor was sh was th apparently thrown off by this news today and like i said before i've made claims in previous videos where victor has been adamant that he's not involved with this project he has no nothing to do with it but that's not enough for some people they want to know that he has sold the rights i believe he has i believe screen media somehow got the rights or something something was done during the production of jeepers creepers 3 that's what my guess is i think i think something was done there but victor salva they're saying he won't have any benefit from this so if you want to take their word for it you want to go out and support this film go go nuts go crazy anyone who does not want to support this film you you don't have to do that either um 
expect of course ongoing bickering from now until this movie comes out probably sometime after so that's just how jeepers creepers is now it brings up a lot of controversy brings up a lot of bickering now jonathan breck i did not see anything mentioning jonathan breck reprising his role as the creeper so that has me a little concerned more ways than one anyone can do a good job in the role but i feel like we won't be welcoming to this person i feel like most people will kind of be negative towards it if it's not jonathan breck Mo a lot of you i did see you reached out to the new director to ask him if breck will be involved he's claiming that announcements for casting will be made later on in the year they're already working on the trailer for the film so we have stuff to look forward to and they're planning to release it this fall so jeepers creepers were born based off of that synopsis it doesn't sound like we will be getting trisha jenner or uh the taggarts that doesn't mean they won't be involved at all but it doesn't sound like they aren't going it doesn't sound like they're going to be here and i did find it interesting that they wanted to highlight that this is in louisiana so are they confirming that the area what well, because what we've been doing because this movie was shot in florida this movie was shot in florida so what the first one anyway a lot of people have been assuming that this is taking place in florida but could this have in fact be taking place in louisiana if that's what they're going to confirm in this film i'm fine with that and then the other thing could be we could still be in Pohol County. We could still be in this same universe. It could just be 23 years later. It could be set after the events of all three of the first films. Hopefully it, it ignores the third film. I hope it does. And it's just set 23 years later. This could be taking place after the events of what we saw at the end of JC2. But we're just not going to have those characters back. Hopefully we do, though, because he's being uh, as he should be. He's being very tight lipped about who's involved in terms of the casting when people ask him about gina or jonathan or any of those characters he's being tight-lipped he doesn't want anything to come out he wants no spoilers to come out he's very excited about what he has to offer here and hopefully this is a this is a film that lives up to what came before it in terms of the first movie the second one's okay i loved all of the movies outside of the third one <laughs> but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below what are you expecting from jeepers creepers 4 are you excited about it i can i can just say this don't expect anything spectacular don't expect that but again let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and the video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video